What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am very proud to say this is my first Grand Theft Auto 5 tip video, and you can find daily Grand Theft Auto 5 tip videos on my channel starting today. So since the game just came out, I think it makes a lot of sense to show you guys how to get some extra cash within the first hour or two of the game. And that's why I'm going to show you how to rob a gas station. Now keep in mind, this works at any convenience store that has a register and has a clerk, so that means gas stations, liquor stores, and supermarkets. So looking at the map of Los Santos here, I'm going to rob the limited gas station for you guys today, show you the best way to do it. It is literally two blocks south of where Franklin lives. So very convenient, and if you guys wanna try it out for your first robbed liquor store or gas station, you can go ahead and do that, it's right there. Step one to robbing any kind of liquor store, you're going to need a gun. You're gonna need a weapon to scare the clerk into giving you his money. Now the first weapon you get in the game is through the story mode and that's on the mission Repossession. So Franklin and Lamar is the first Franklin mission and then Repossession. So you're gonna need to play the first two missions of the game to get your weapon. Step two is to walk in and of course pull out your weapon and see how the clerk reacts. Now, interestingly enough, he won't react the same every single time. There will be one of three things that he does. One, he could give you the money and send you on your merry way. Two, he could flip you the bird, in which case you would need to fire a warning shot in order to get him to give you the money. Or three, he could pull out a shotgun himself and aim it right back at you, in which case you would need to probably go ahead and rob a different store. Keep in mind though that the chances of that happening are very rare. Once you have successfully got the clerk to fill up a grocery bag full of cash, he will drop a money bag on the ground. Now, there is some time that he takes, you know, to fill up the bag. So, it's important to look around the store and maybe find a second register. And there are stores with second registers, just like I'm showing you here. Now, normally, you would be able to just open them up by clicking right on the D-pad. I didn't try that out, so... Uh, it's definitely worth a try, but if you can't get it open, just shoot the thing, just shoot the front of it, and a money bag will pop out. You'll be able to cash in on, see I got an extra $130 out of that. So always keep your eyes peeled for a second register. Now, step four, escaping. So, most of the time, it's probably a good idea to just hop in your car and try to get away from the cops and hide in an alley. Because we know that the cops are a little bit more... Uh, cognizant and aware in this Grand Theft Auto they look more and they have lines of sight now it's also smart to just look for really close spots like I did right here all I did was run out of the store hop the fence to the left and laid low and the cops did not find me and eventually my wanted level went away so honestly you might want to scope out some spots to hide before you rob a convenience store so you're able to lose that heat very quickly and not have to deal with the LSPD so as you can tell in the bottom left, they are all around me, but I successfully got away, as you can tell in the top right now. I don't have a two-star wanted level, and I got away. Here are some other quick tips to consider when you're robbing a store. You don't have to kill the clerk. Obviously, I didn't kill the clerk there, but you don't have to kill them, and make sure if you're going to kill the clerk that you don't kill him before he gets your money out, because obviously, you're not gonna get your money in that case, and you're only gonna get an increase in your wanted level. And that is all I have for you guys today. That was how to successfully rob a convenience store. And now you guys can go out and rob, you know, all the stores in Los Santos, get a little extra cash on the side, maybe buy yourself a new car, uh, get you started in your adventures in Grand Theft Auto V. If you learned something new from this video, remember to click the like button. I would really appreciate it. And also remember that this is your number one hub for all Grand Theft Auto V content. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've already got a ton of video ideas I'm planning, working on, maybe even two more videos out by the end of today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you later. Peace. Now normally you wouldn't be hearing my voice right now and you'd be hearing some cool kind of music, but I do want to urge you guys to, in the future, stay until the end of my videos because I'm going to have this giant screen with a bunch of annotations and a bunch of links to other Grand Theft Auto content so you guys can kill two birds with one stone, get one tip out of the way, and then go on to the next video and it should be super helpful and useful for you guys. So. Remember to stay till the end of my videos, and if you're on mobile, I will throw links in the description as well if you can't use annotations. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you later. Peace!